This is Parasha Parashat Shoftim. We're going to have a highlight on the Parasha of the Shoftim, Shoftim, Veshotim, Tenecha, Bechoshare. You have to put judges and the Shotrim and the, and the police officers you give to all of your gates. Actually, Hashem gives to you a shop to it all. And they should judge the nation with righteousness. Lo tate mishpat, you are not you are not allowed to pervert the judgment. Lo takir pani, don't recognize uh, to individuals to say that he's a rich person or he's influential. How could I say? Uh, how could I say? How could I say something against him? And lo takir pani. Also, Rashi says apish adakano. When they are talking, in other words, see somebody has a front face for somebody and he has a sad face for the other one. The fact that they have a sad face for him, you make him not to say his claim. They will have to be very neutral uh, to both of them. Loti kashochad, you should not take bribe. Kishashochad, because bribe, will blind the eyes of the wise. Who's, who is, which wise? Which wise? Not the wise that we, me and you call him wise people. Something that Korah calls him wise person, it has to be very wise, like Shlomo Amele. Wise, somebody Torah calls the Chacham, a real Chacham, Yahweh is Salem to Rasim, and will crack the words of Sadiq. Therefore, any type of rabbis, they're going to talk about it in the last few pages, uh, talking about that the judges that they get that favor from people, they didn't become somebody carried the burden for somebody, and later on he came for judgment. He said, No, you carry my burden one time, you help me, I cannot be your judge because I'm going to be biased, I cannot judge. So that also is for everybody. Whenever somebody comes to get accept from you, advice from you, and you are biased, tell him that I'm biased. I will not be able to judge. In other words, first of all, it's not, you cannot judge properly. And then even if you judge properly and you did the best, tomorrow he sees that you are biased, and then he will tell you that you made it because of yourself. Person should not do something that people would be khoshed about. Now, Chazonish asks a beautiful question. Chazonish says, what about in our daily basis of life? You are always biased. Say your wife asks you something, you should do this and that. Person is biased, person to be, wants to be lazy, doesn't want to do it. Your children ask you, your friend asks you something. No, you are biased in life. Everything you are biased. The Torah says, In order to be biased for something, it blinds one's eyes. What do we do? How do we go through life? How do you go through life? As Onish asks, how do we go through life? As Onish says, and live a bit finish. As Onish says, that what Torah says, that's talking about the judge and judgment. In, in the case of judge and judgment, Torah is in Hadesh, there is a biasness that doesn't let you to see the emet and truth. But in the daily basis of life, a person has to learn Musa, learn Torah, have a good middle, and to continue life. Because if a person wants to say that I'm biased for everything, he would be paralyzed in his life. But if he apply this halakh or this for every <coughs> question of life, the person would say, say this, say this, they go. But justice, justice, you have to follow. It's not enough. Rashi says, it's not enough. That's okay, I go to this thing, that's good enough. No. You have to go ultimate and better and true. That's why there are two The in order should be live. We are to inherit the land the gives it to you. Yeah, but the judgment is very important. That gives the long life for somebody who searches true judgment. And the judgment doesn't mean to say that a person goes to bed in whatever that the bed in says, then it would be this judgment. First judgment, the person knows himself. The person knows that it's higher, it's obligated in something, he has to pay, he has to do. The judges, they judge according to the information that they have. If you know you are higher, they have to give. You just know that it's said they said that, that's why it's said they said that they, they know. The truth, which is your inside, and you know you are obligated to give, give. Even if the bedding would not say that you are obligated, but you know as a fact you are obligated, the bedding cannot. Prove it because there's not enough evidence, but you are fine. You should not plant tree of ideal worship, call it any type of tree, 
next to the Mizbeach, Hashem Elokecha, that Hashem Tassel, that you make for yourself. They will know why worship, either worship is next to judgment, because if you pervert the judgment, is that good that we don't know that? Or what's the, what's the depth of it? Then there is the judgment around Mishpat or Kimber. Mishpat or Kimber. No, whatever that the Mishpat goes wrong, it's not the Lukim, it's Aitem, it's Avodot Sadam. Hashem is Emma, judgment belongs to Lukim. There were any perversion in truth of judgment, it's like making it Asherah. No, why Asherah? It's very interesting, Asherah tree, it's a beautiful tree. You look at the tree, a beautiful tree, sometimes it's very good, as fruit, as things, and you feel it's very good, it's very useful, and everything is fine. But when you study about it, it's about the story. A lot of times, judgment also is like that. It looks like that you are very honest. Everybody from outside, you see a beautiful tree. Everything is good. But inside, it's about the story. That's why it compared not to the type of about the story, but about the story of tree. You're talking the Hamatseva, you should not make yourself a monument. I should start in Hashem Rekhefa, that Hashem hates. In other words, in other words, what does monument mean? Monument means the one stone, Rashi says. And Mizbeach is Avon. Now, why Hashem hates monument? What's the, what's the point? Monument means one stone. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is against when one individual does for himself and doesn't care for other people. Hashem says, Mizbeach Avonim. You should gather the stone together. Unity. Every person feels, I do a mitzvah and you know, I don't care for other people. Hashem hates that. Hashem says the purpose of my avodah is the unity of our mitzvah. I want you to care for others. I want you to make sure other people do it. If you just do it yourself, matzeva, you make a monument in your house. Oh, Baruch Hashem, I'm, oh, I'm fine. I'm keeping it. Hashem hates that. Hashem doesn't want that. Hashem wants that everybody together. What is back? You should not. You should not study for Hashem, but you have a cow or sheep that has a blemish, could have everything bad, to have a Hashem, but you have a It's a blemish of Hashem. Of course, somebody is doing somebody with a blemish for Hashem. It's the, it's the, whatever that you do for Hashem, it has to be. Now, we don't bring Korban over, we do mitzvot. Any mitzvot that you do with Hashem, you have a blemish. I have a sister, beautiful sister, beautiful feeling. Everything that we get for the mitzvah of Hashem Baruch should be without blemish. He wants to be there. When you find in your, in, among you, one of your kids, Hashem gives it to you, a man already that does evil in the eyes of Hashem al the Ahwal to violate his covenant, and he went and he, he worshipped uh, other gods, other idols, and he bowed down to them, to the sun, to the moon, or all of the Hosts of the Shaman heaven, I shall receive it that I didn't command, who got the heart? And it will be, be told to you, the Shamata and you hear with the Rashta, you have to investigate better. Well, that's the civil and the better. But you have to investigate well. In the Emmet, it's true. In the Estatal of Israel, the abomination was done in Israel. You should take out that man or that lady that he did for the Ra, the evil in your Shareva. The man or the lady who's Khatan Babani Bamel to the Lila with the Dora, one should have the stone in front of other people that you should end. I'll be to Edim or Shosha Edim in my name. Torah says to Edim. Doesn't mean that's the fact that to Edim is saying the truth, but that's the regulation. No, you might have had one head would not be killed. You cannot kill somebody with one head, but one head brings to give up Shivua for the mom. Yet, Edim, the hand of the Edim should be very short. Now, first we kill him, and the, the hand of the other nation. Afterward, and you you have to eradicate evil among from among yourself. To eradicate evil among yourself. So it's all about Torah. We don't have to do it. Keep on in the heart of our Shabbat. Whenever that is something beyond your understanding, you don't understand. It's strange for you. Dava is made the Mishpat for judgment. Ben dam ben dam between blood and blood. In other words, ben dam tamir dam tahor. Don't be stamet taro. Ben din din. The, the judgment in Zakhar Chaya, the Nega and Nega. Play. You don't know whether this Nega is Tahor or Tome by Sarah. They will revolt the Sharifa. And Kachme, Kachamin, argue in your city. There is a Mahlouk of Kacham in your city. This damn is Tome or Tahor, Zakhar Chaya. What should we do? There's a Mahlouk. What should we do? 
come to our you have to come up and come to the Makom that Hashem chosen and come to the Kohanim Levim and this judge that's Bayomim Ha'em on that path. Now, why do you say Bayomim Ha'em? Of course, you can't go to a judge that's in grave. You have to go to the judge that's in your time. The Torah is telling us, as well tell us that, you know, the rest of time, you say this judge is not like the judge before. Judge before, I really knew him, he knew Shaz, he knew everything. This is, doesn't know that much. Therefore, you don't trust him, you don't respect him. So I says any, like Shemuel Bedoro, and I feel any of the of him, so you have a lot of other Shmado, many of the other Shmado, many of the other Shmado, many of the other Shmado, you should inquire, but he did the Hat with you, and 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 the Hat with you, when you go to the shrine, what you have come with the terrace, you have to do. Al Piatra Shiroka, Al Piatra that they teach you, and Mishpat, and the judgment that they tell you you should do, don't go, don't, don't deviate from the, the word that they told you, uh, right or left. You are not allowed to go straight. Why is person that does on, 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 on purpose? Not to listen to Kohen Ahmed and Shari Shah, but Hashem is Khan, who is a Shubh Shah, who met Hari Shamu. Should kill that person and eradicate evil from your time. Don't feel bad. Therefore, we are talking about the very great Tanakh. It's a very great Tanakh. We know Shah's posting and there's a Mahrokhet and he goes to your shrine. To your shrine, they tell him you're wrong. And he comes to his own city and he gives. Direction like it's himself, not like the way that in Yerushalayim they said. So I said, you have to kill this person. He might be a great Talmud Chacham. Like Rambam says, because we are the Mahroga to Israel. In other words, just like we have Trosh Bichtal. Trosh Bichtal indicates what is Trosh Bichtal. There is Trosh Bichtal or Trosh Baal And that's the Sanhedrin of Yerushalayim. Sanhedrin of Yerushalayim. They are the ones that they are master, they establish what is oral Torah for us and what's the judgment. Whatever that they say, even if you are a great Armzacham, you don't think like them and you have value and proof, you have to go and bring it to them. Once they say, no, your proof is wrong, then you have to submit yourself to the written shrine. You cannot say, if you go to your city, if you distinguish and go to the city and he directs people according to himself, then he has to be. To be, to, be, to be put to death. Why? Should you be a Because we don't want to have argument like that. Everybody should hear and should be a privilege to know, and they should not do this. When you come to your land, that Hashem gives it to you, and you inherit it, and so on. I want to have a marriage before I pay my service now. Like all of the nations that are on. That is, that is, for a way, I say, is a problem. In other words, we could have a matter, but not a share, not like going. In other words, we cannot imitate what going do. Because the source of the going is a, it's going. They think and you know the borders that are in choice, they decide for them. But all source of education and understanding is taught. It's not the way that they live. Sometimes we have a matter, should we put mele on you to have to say that we love some passing? If you put the mele, then you have to accept the fees. You cannot put the mele. And you know, not to listen to him. Actually, I from among you, Hassim, never ever. The Koi cannot be, you should put him on Melech, not to Khalaf, you cannot put the Nishnafi, it's a fallen person, Koi, that's not your brother. No, you are not. Melech, there are Hil Khodan. First, Allah is, he should not increase two sim horses. Rosh Hashanah should not take the nation to Misraim. In other words, the best horses are in Misraim. And if he wants to increase sources, you, the nation, you put some people to go to Misraim to bring the horses. Trust is now. The man are put so says, go to Sibula Shobedele Hase, you should not go back to the terrace and you should not increase with wives. Because to remove his heart from Hashem, because of the are below me all. And you should not have silver and gold where we are and a lot, because all of this, these three things takes away the mind of the Melech. From Melech really is, is the reflection of the covenant of the Shwab among the nation. But it's like some of the one in the season of the Shwab, and you should write the Mishnah Torah, another two copies, last two copies of Torah as well as separate, to back on the Rabbim, 
that's to have two copies of Torah by Taimun. No, one Sefer Torah. They made a small Sefer Torah. They put him on his Seroa, on his, uh, on his arm, by Taimun, and what should you do? He has to read all days of his life. The man in the man, the in order to learn to be afraid of Hashem, the Lord, to show you the Lord, to keep all of this Torah, to have him on the last of time, all of this to do. No, why? Why do we need him to write this Sefer Torah and carry and read it? Only when he goes to the bathroom for his showers and this, he should take it up. Otherwise, every minute and second has to do with him. No, why? So that he should not lift up his heart from his brothers with his own and should not be turned away from the Mitzvah that uh, I mean, right or left, the man, the Arish Yamin, so that he will prolong his day years of Mahmoudu kingdom, who one of him and his children. From here, Torah says that the kingship is inheritance. Both the children, the fellow Israel. Therefore, here, Torah is telling us and what the story. The story God of Torah is every, every time that we have greatness, power is dangerous. Power makes people proud. The Torah is made, testifies. The only remedy for that is try the Sefer Torah put on heart. And really, call him a chayab. As long as he's not with carrying the Sefer Torah, submitting himself. In other words, what does carrying the Sefer Torah mean? In other words, power means that if a person feels to do power independency, that independence is very dangerous. But as long as you submit yourself to another power, another thing, then it's good. Then it could help you out. Always you have to submit yourself. That's why there's a dark story. That's why you have to power. In other words, as long as his rabbi was alive, he didn't go and marry back power. But he never asked him. Because the fact that there's the authority that you have to come to the authority, that maintains the person. That maintains the person. That maintains the person. That maintains the person. Come to the authority that maintains the person. Here also, king has a lot of power, it's dangerous. Torah says, remedy of that is write the Sefer Torah and carry it all the time. Should not be for Quran and Levi, Kosheva Levi, all of the tribes of Levi, Hale portion or inheritance in Israel, She Hashem, the offering of Akadish Parku, Nahalato is inheritance, Yokel should be, the Nahalalo and inheritance should not be for them. Among his brothers, Hashem will not allow Hashem to give Hashem to them. Right? The Tukhanim and Levim do not have any portion, and here is to have a free mind to get to the avodah for the Haris to elevate the Haris. For elevation of the Haris, we need people that they should be. They should not be busy in business and this type of thing. They could do business a few months, and once the mind goes to business and has to be involved, that mind is not pure, hundred percent for Torah. To lead them to be hundred percent nachaloto. That should be judgment portion. Kani meitam v'sevodei zeva tabekin brings the korban short in ox or step sheep rather than lachayim. Should be through a lachayim v'zeva. We should give the foreleg and lachayim and the jaw and the zeva. Now Rashi says to Rishim of Yomri zero a tachat yad shirma ve'kadu ma'vedot all because of pinchas ve'kadu ma'vedot pinchas to ikru ma'vedot. For that incident, and through davening, he put them together to the keva stomach. Of both of them, they were so good for the Kani, were so good these three things through Pinchas. This is the Gan the first of your grain and wine and stuff. Uh, and the first of shearing of your flock, he gave it to give it to the Kani. See, this is the Ruma. To our Hashem chose him, Hashem chose him out of your tribes, the Amot stand and to say, Hashem, Hashem, in the name of Hashem, who one of him and his children all days. When a lady comes from one of your tribes, from Sai, Hashem, who God Shams is there, who God is Rabbi Hashem, he came in all of his side of his heart. And he wants to serve like other, uh, like other This levy doesn't mean it's a levy, it's a coin. No, a coin comes and says that I want to bring korban. He would eat portion like the portion. Levat, except for mim karab al-ha'avot. 
the domain crowd, what that was transacted by the purposes. In other words, the question is like this. Torah says that the Kohanim, they bring Korban, they eat the Korban. Now, who should eat Korban? Who? So this Korban belongs to all of the tribe of tribe. Now, who do we give, the, give them to eat? Who should eat? Now, the question is that the Hakam made the Kohanim every week to be in charge and to eat. Now, this week, this family are eating, but this belongs to all of the tribe, all of the Kohanim, of which this family eat. Mim Kharab al means they made a transaction that everybody should be more Whatever that the portion have, that family that designated on that day, that's like a selling. We sell our portion to you for that week and you sell to others. They were they divided all of the Kohanim throughout the year to eat. Now, if a Kohen wants to bring a Korban and its portion, his portion, he could bring the Korban. But whatever that promised that family for that week should be given to him. Cut up off. When you come to the association with the Hanoi and Law, look at my last year, should not learn from Kitu Abu Dhabi, the ammunition of this nation. Very much say before, now what's the abomination? The most important abomination is belief. How do you believe? What's your belief in life? How are you going to conduct your life? That is the most crucial point. Very much say before, my Abu Dhabi to Baesh should not found by you somebody who passes his son and his daughter Baesh fire, right? In other words, they used to. Now the Bakhtut of Shoni, whether they just pass through or they put in mamash in the fire because they worship that was the that was the type of Abadazara Molech that they gave away their children to the fire to show their devotion to the fire. And Torah says, don't do that, because it's very other words, once people around you you are doing something, then it's this attraction to absorb the person without him realizing. By conscious, people you see people are doing that you want to do. Imagine everybody is doing that, and through that they got prosperity, and you know, Satan makes it to happen. Whether he puts his child and see you, he becomes very rich, and or, or he gets cured, and the, all of these type of things. And Torah says, no, really much of the time I the one who practices divinations, onen, and the one who divines auspicious times. Menachish with divine superstitious omens, Umechashev and sorcerers. We cover, cover. Now, all of these people mean to say that the curiosity to know what's happening with you, curiosity that to change your mind, curiosity to is that's the part of the human nature. Part of the human nature is what's happening 20 years from now, five years from now, who is my children or my this Always mind. That curiosity was in people. Now, Torah says, the going through the curiosity go to Tobah of Tumah. All of these things are coming. And the, that curiosity encourages them. Somebody would give $10,000 to, a, to, a, to, a, to a magicians or to, a, to somebody who reads practices divinations to do it. But what? Why do you spend so much money? This is a lot of curiosity. Now, we hover, hover. And there is another thing that the, the charmer, uh, an animal charmer, in other words, with the type of talking, they could gather all of the animals. And you could go to them and they write that they do it, they gather all of the animals. What type of animal for you? We show it over it only. Or the one who, who divines by the, by the ob and it only. Over the there are two types of ways to ask the dead body to tell you things, get information from them. Hope for searching the net. All of these things are different techniques of you want to practice your curiosity, you want to know about future, what's happening, and what's happening in Ram Haba. All of these things they, they do. It's abomination about work all of this, we get out of and because of all of these abominations, Hashem Kirchha, Hashem Morish drives them away for them upon it. The zechut and the merit that you have to restore it because of this avir that they do, this type of mentality that they have, because they will feel this kovot of tumor. And the truth of the matter is, there is a kovot in this thing. There is, there's a power, but the power comes from tumor. Why? Because like Shema Mele says, "Zeru matzeh b'alerokim." I was going created the world in balanced way, just like we have a nevua. We have what Hashem tells the Navi from future in the Kubach of Kedusha, this Kubach of Tumor. Now they could get this Kubach of Tumor 
and practice it. Now, Torah says, don't go. Just go and go after that. But the, you live in Eretzra, Eretzra is the place that any Hashem will care for you. You are a Jew. A Jew, you live with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You don't need these things. Me Hashem will care for you. a Mitzvah Asset in Torah. You who wholeheartedly should be with your Hashem will care for Now, Rashi says, what does mean? Go within with full, full hearted. But it's up below. You should have hopes in him. In other words, don't, don't, don't make yourself wonder. And don't search after future. But whatever that comes to you, accept it with the whole hearted. Once you do that, you are his nation and your khele. What well, I mean you are his nation and scale? Because in other words, all Akkadosh Baruch Hu's retreating us depends on us. If we put our hope to Hashem and we want to go after Akkadosh Baruch Hu, Hashem says, you are my khele, my nation, take care of you. But if you go away from Hashem, you give power to other things, Hashem says, okay, you want to go after them, okay, good. <laughs> Let go, go, let me see what happens to you. This is the Tamim Tim Hashem Such a beautiful mitzvah in Torah. In other words, once you are wholehearted with Hashem, you put your trust to Abadosh Baruch Hu, then Hashem says, oh, he puts his trust in me, it's my nation, it's my person. And then Hashem will take care of it. But somebody puts his, his, his hopes in the, in the Goyesha way, or he wants to practice his curiosity through Goyesha way to the Torah, Hashem says, you go after them, you trust them, that, you, that would be your chale, that would be your nation. Then when a person chooses what is the chale, who should conduct him, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, or this kohot. So from here also you learn out that you should not search future. No, Rabbi Yaakov Erwes says that if a Mekubal says that I know your future, I will tell you future, tell him how do you deal with this puzzle. I mean, I Hashem, I wrote a sefer, I don't know, we cannot curiosity of knowing your future for the Holy Spirit is not good. What's the marshal? The marshal is like this. You have to go someplace to get the driver to take you. And the driver is driving and you are sitting back. Now you could do two things. One thing is you could relax yourself and enjoy your time while he's driving you because you trust him or 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 you don't trust him. You always you are worried what happens. Why do you turn like this? Why do you turn like that? And a pleasant trip that could have been could have been for you pleasant and you have enjoyed yourself, you know, you could read something, enjoy yourself, relax, becomes a trip full of full of pain and full of full of the ogre, what's going to happen? Then well, that's a trip of life. I mean the driver is driving, trust the driver, he's a good driver. If it turns, if it's a turbulent, whatever that happens, he's good. Then you enjoy your life, you enjoy the trip of life. All of these nations that touch your Rotom, that you are possessing them, El Menim to the who, who divine auspicious times will Kosasim and practice it, with those who practice divinations, Ishno they listen, but oh look, you are not that not an Hashem Hashem then get you. No, what do I do? You are curious. Hashem says I relate to that. What do you do? No, we meet the prophet. Among you, from your brother, like me, you in the car. I can put it for you. A lot is known to whom you listen. To Rosh Hashanah, whatever that last national take up before it, before it, you have all the more load. Seven Shmuel Shon 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 listen. Hashem, Elokai, Ve'Ish Agadola Azud, and this big fire. I don't, I will not see it, and I'm not that. Hashem says, okay, we may Hashem die. It's a good, it's a good. Now we have them. Now we have profit that will establish among your brother. From among the, bro- your, the, the, the brothers, like you, and I give my, my, my word in his mouth, and he would speak to them about the word that I command. Why I know a person that is going to listen to the Navi, that he will say in my name, I, I search from him. Ah, Hanavi, but the Navi, she does it that way, that he acts on purpose and he talks in my name, something that I say, but she talks about other gods who met Hanavi, I was put to death and should be put to death and done with. If you are welcome, now if you say, how do I know? I should read the Russian. What would I know that Hashem says it? Hashem they say it. How should I know? If he says, I would know. But he says something that is, could, be, could be right. 
should never be annoyed with Hashem. Lo yado ba lo yabo. If Navi does something and that happens, then it's good. But if it doesn't happen, who are the Bara Shelo did the Ro Hashem? Then the Bittah don't did the Navi. Bittah Gormenu. Don't be afraid of him. You should kill him. Therefore, here Torah is saying that if a Navi comes. He says something against Torah, we should not listen to him. Because the only source to listen to him is Torah. And Torah says, if he says against Torah, nobody should talk against Torah. Now, what about if he says something that's not against Torah's path? Could be, could not be. Now, I'll be telling that you have a Mofet, you have an Ot. If you have an Ot or Mofet, some, some type of miracle, something that is extraordinary. If he does that, then we're going to listen to him. If not, you should not listen to him. Or it has to be Navi that's Mukta. Navi that we know is Mukta by other Navi that's the Navi. In our coach, for who cut down all of this nation that Hashem gives it to you, the land, and you inherit them and you shoot it in the cities and the houses, three, three cities you should separate for them. The Toch Asecha among your, um, your land, that Hashem gives it to you as an inheritance. You should prepare the way and you should divide them into three parts. You will the boundaries of your land. Hashem gives it to you. Why not? And they should run away. Shabbat Lartia, full of the killer. We say the Lartia. That's the mother of the killer. Hashem should run away there. The fire should stay there. She yaked that somebody hits his friend. He did that without intention. He wasn't hating him yesterday or the day before. Somebody comes to you to explain the yard in the forest, for example. He wants to cut wood. And, he, and his hand swings back at the with the ox that to cut the tree, the nushal, and will slips off the bars of the iron, ox head, mean heads from the wood, and he finds his fellow who made and kills him. They were didn't kill him with intention. Who you are, you should run away to one of the cities and should stay around. Ten, no, why should you go to stay? Ten, less. You do. Chase the Goel Adam, the redeemer of the blood, the relatives of that person. After the killer, he gets in the world because his heart, his, his heart would be his heart. They see when he would catch him. If the long, it's a long way, he would catch him and would, would strike him, strike him to, to mortal, to kill him. If he does that, he does not know that. That he knows on it because he didn't hate him from yesterday and the day before. Therefore, I command you three cities you should separate from yourself. I'm in Yarki. Now, if I've got to part who brought in your 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 gevul that Hashem Shpalechav and gives you more land, as you know, I just I told your father it's more grand because when you keep all of the people that I commanded you to love Hashem and to go in His ways, or we are safe alecha. You should add three more cities as you shall. The Ramir Rambam brings the radio that you see that Mashiach would come. Because Torah says over here, you're going to add on those three cities, more cities, and it never happened in Jewish history. So that should happen at the time of Mashiach. Rambam brings this as the radio, as a proof that you know Torah says something, Torah doesn't say in vain. Torah says that you're going to add. You know, you should have and should not. Shed the blood of the innocent among your land. No, before you say, why do we say that the Shkodesh Elul is Parasha? One of the Parasha is Miklat. The city of Miklat, the runaway. Elul is like the city of Miklat. We do a lot of things unintentionally during the year. And you know, the, the, the Redeemer, is the Guru Adam, the Sehara Satan is after us. Catch us. Now, what to do? Do not touch El Miklat. What is the Mirdad? The Mirdad is Torah, Avoda, Tefila, that's Elit. Here's the Tony. Now, somebody hates somebody's friend, the Arago and he ambushes before him, he come all up and he got up on him, and he called him and struck them mortally, and he killed him, you know, and he ran away to one of the cities. What should you do? The Shalhus in Nero. They should send the elders of the city and they should get agent and should take him from there, and not know, and should give him that where I don't, where I don't, and should do there. Should not have pity or eyes on him, who be out to Adam Nabi and should eradicate the innocent blood from his tribe, and it would be good for you. Don't ask him to do it. If somebody kills somebody by message and he wants to go to the city to abuse the system, you should not do it. No, you should not, you should not, you should not invade the border of your friend. That the government should not do it. 
در بعد بعد شباتیم نو بعد شدیم به در نهاده برده از جمعه در نهاده توی داخل شد نات که در وان اید خود ایش لخور آگون خود توی خود خطات به ترانسپریشن به خود خیلی در شهرتا در شهرتا این اید بود نات که در خود در بعد بود که در خود شبوع اید این دی مدر ما ما بود در پیش نهیدیم توی دیم خوش شایدیم به اومد دابان کی آگو بید خماس if it gets up a false head by each the anod was not and it's three against him a fabrication in other words it's the same it would check it the ambushin and ashim 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 and it's done these two people that they have a problem with ashim if they have a problem with ashim 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 the door should and this is it in a check it out check it on a body this head gave it to check it now how could you give it to check it if two of them says that he killed two of them said don't kill it's not a bullshit it's a half question در کنترلی کنیم شده. در ادوشه در ایز اونلی وقتی دومین ادیم کام و سه دی پرس کرده ادیم، دی ورن، دی تو ادیم سه دی ورن نوستان جستان تیوسته، و میشه داد هفتم. تو پرس ادیم کام، و دی سه دی نو دی ورن نوستان جستان، دی ورن بالتون. دی ورن دیس تو پرس ادیم ویک پیل دی سکن ما، و دی کیل دی پرس بادی ور باسیل باسیل میگاشه زمان داشت راهی. وی گانی دو تو دیم. What if that they plotted to do against brother? We get out of our own way to be far. And we should eradicate evil from them. We have to show them how. And those who remain, they should be saved. We should not have them. We should not have to do something like that. We don't have to say, "I should have a pity, nefesh for nefesh, life for life." I'm not in shame. I'm not in shame. I'm not in shame. But of course, that means money. Therefore, here we believe the second problem. No, why do we believe the second problem? Usually, the Torah says to Adam, "Like no Adam." Why do we believe the city of Iraq? The normal question is like this. One of these Edim are saying Shekel. Now the probability of saying Shekel of the first Edim is more or second Edim. First Edim, they are coming to give testimony on something that nobody is talking about that. Nobody has any background about it. Therefore, the first Edim said, second Iraq Edim, probably in city they didn't talk about it. That these Edim are coming to give testimony on these people to kill them. They were, the news is all over. Everybody knows about it. And it's there. Now, you, Edim, second pair of Edim, they want to come and say that these people that are saying that Tuesday they were in Los Angeles, they were in Los Angeles, in Baltimore. Now, that is going against all of the media and all things that people know and they're talking about it. They were, this Edim, they have very sure to make sure that they are going against the extreme of people. They would have to make sure they are truth. If they are not truth, they wouldn't dare to say anything. Because how could they say that they were in it? Somebody in the city saw them on Tuesday, would say, no, you are wrong. He was in, in, in the city. Therefore, the fact that the first Edin, they could fabricate, because everything is open to study. Second pair of Edin, they should come and say, these people were not, were not in Los Angeles. It has to be true. Because if it's not true, they are putting themselves in a really bad shape. Therefore, that's why Torah says they believe the second parable. He says, "I'm in Chama Levicha. When you go in Chama Levicha, Rabbi Yitzchak says, 'But I have Amrav, and you see horses and chariots and people, new, more, more numerous people from you. But you know, don't be afraid of them. Because Shem Yitzchak and Shem Yitzchak are more common. But you have a Rabbechem. When you come to me, Chama, because I tell you, Chama of life." That sometimes we see that the Yisrahara is more powerful or the Tid are more powerful. So I said, don't be afraid. Yashav Hashem. When you get a queen with the Belong, queen comes and says, Oh my, Shema Israel, Shema Israel, Shema Israel, what's Shema Israel? It says, even the midst of Shema Israel that you have is good enough to succeed with. They don't have the midst of Shema Israel. We have, they will be able to say, Chudam Neri. Atem Kalevim Ayom, you are today, you are coming to war against your enemy. Aliyah, don't faint your heart. Altiru, don't be afraid. Altahbezur, don't panic. Altahbezur, four things against four things that they go and do to tremble. The Gashi points out four things to us there. So that is the stage of our life. Things comes up, we soften. First, what does it say? Your heart is strong. It makes it a little bit soften. And then the ear comes. And then half up comes. And then you're broken. This is the procedure of life. First, you have a full moon of all things. But you let this air of petrol, you make it soften your heart, mix it with the and soften, then you are afraid, then you pack up, then you are broken. There are four procedures how these things happen. Therefore, a person from the beginning has to be strong to know how to work. 
Então os barulhos recebem Hashem e Sudás, que Hashem e Kechem, Hashem, Haolech e Machem, who goes with you to fight for you, with your enemy, to save you. E deve ir a Shotem, the officers de Shotem, the nation. Mi Haish, who is the person that he built the home, by Chadosh Berech Anochu, and he didn't live in it. Yelech, we are sure we'll be told, we should go back to his house. Tell Yamut, let's see my dad in war. And another person would go and start the house. And that's Roshi says, that's Akmad Nefesh. That is ugly. That's that bothersome. That you see that he made a home and didn't use it. Or who is the person that not a Karen? He planted a vineyard and he didn't steal it. Maybe he dies in the Chama. I know the person who is a redeem it and it's not good. Who is a person that he. he Made Russian on a lady, we look like a hand he didn't marry her. He should go back, maybe he dies, and other person. We also have shot him, and we have a home, the child, and one said, Be a high shower. Who is the person that is fearful? We ask the world and faint of heart. Tell him we are sure to go back to his house. Louis Master, they have a hub, Bilbao, and he should not melt down the heart of his brothers like his father. Now, the portion of Russia says, all of these three, four cases that we said before, that they go, the three cases, they go for this person, that this person should not be embarrassed. Here we have somebody that here, he says he has his heart is he cannot, cannot see the milchama, and he has a you know, emuno and ira of the Now we should tell him that he should go back. Why? Because he would not be productive in the world. He would melt down others also. Now, in order that he should not be embarrassed for going back, we send this tree also that nobody would know why is he coming back. Maybe he got married, maybe, you know, maybe he bought a house, he's the older person bought a house. Therefore, this through that would be covered. When they finished, and the command, the leaders of the Sabaot, when you come to the Shalom, you have to call him Shalom. Shalom, 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 and they start with you. Everybody should be a tax for you. If they don't make peace, what's the time of the war with you? The start of the you shall lay siege. And you should keep all of the males if you call but the women and the children should eat the spoils of the, your enemies, I shall give it to you. It's an interesting Torah says you eat all of it. Torah says it's an interesting point in Torah. Torah is saying that a nation that has a battle to not have a fish, we cannot change the male, but the female we can change. Because the female, by definition, is like a chili, like a vessel. He gets, he gets shaped by what we put inside, it would contain. They were able to put that gira and emuna would contain. But so far, it's not like that. The male would not be like that. The male, the devil says that you should wipe out all of the males, but the ladies, you should keep alive. You should do to all of the cities that are far away from you. I should have already have my name in there. That's not from this nation. That I mean, but from this nation that Hashem gives it to you. Nahalo, you should not leave anybody to leave. Right, but these these people that these seven countries that you've got captured them, you have to kill everybody. Good to have you Therefore, that is being said for those that they are they are not from the seven countries. should. You should kill, you should destroy them. Um, that, that, that's I told you. The man I show you, I should not learn from them to do to collect of them all of these abominations. I should ask you to learn that they do never have taught them, and you should, and when you will sin for Hashem, it does you like when you lay siege in a city, Yamu Rabbi, for many days, they got him to wage war against them. The top saw to seize it, you touch it at that time. Now there is a city that you are putting, and they have trees. So I said, don't destroy it at that tree. They do a lot of gas by wielding against them an axe. He may not talk about that you eat, go to the road, and that you should not destroy. Oh, Adam, it's a sode, because Adam is a sode. 
know, the, the trees are Adam, Rabbi Bane Hamato, that they come before you into the besieged city, that is actually that. Only the, the, the tree that you know, that dwells by it's not food, but you could destroy that the Haratam, and you could build the siege, and the Hashiri, you saw him, and the Hama, and the Hama. So, from here, we know, Torah says that the, when you go to war, this is psychology, when you go to war, you want to destroy everything. What do you that on the way? You want to destroy it. But I said, even in that sense, if there is a tree that has food, you are not allowed to destroy it. It's also to destroy it. So from here, we learn out the law of Bal-Tashkid. Anything in life that is usable is also to destroy it. And the tree also, if you go to Betamidash of Baltimore, one of the Betamidash of Baltimore for Mechino is a little bit, the, the wall is a little bit crooked. And the reason of that is because there was a fruit tree there, Rabbi Ruderman didn't let them to cut it. Because the Gemara says this is not, it's not good to cut the fruit tree. Now the Minhagi is the way that we do it, some are market. But the Minhagi is Allah Khalemai say, we sell it to a goy, and we tell him that it belongs to you, take it. And then he will take it. But the person should be very careful not to destroy fruit tree. Fruit tree is not easy to destroy. Or you should learn in life. Whatever that blessing that our Lord gives to a person, a person should not just uh, disregard the blessing of Hashem. He must be halal badam. If you find a halal corpse and that Hashem down the halal star, no fel basade fallen in the field, no no dami fallen. We don't know who hid it. They will be find a corpse, right? Halal means corpse that was killed, assassinated through sword and outside of the city. No. Question is, how should we go about it? Now, first of all, it's outside of the city. Everybody should say that, you know, it's our business. What's on the body outside the city? Yeah, that body outside of the city. Now, the, that was killed through soul. Now, halal means that. Now, the question is, what should we do with this dead body? That's what I was talking over here. What should we do with this dead body? Now, one could say that, you know, that body outside of the city, whose responsibility is that? Nobody, you know, who is responsible for the outside of the city? In the city itself, there's something, but outside of the city, I thought I said, no, you have to say, kind of, no, no, whatever that happens in, in, in Torah, we use, uh, somebody's responsible. That's what the Gene should get off. They should go out, your elders and your judges, and they should measure, they should, they should measure all of the cities I should say, well, that's around this color, this corpse. Therefore, they should measure all of the city around, and the city that's nearest to the color of the corpse, this city is responsible. Uh, what should they do? The elders of that city, they should take a female calf, that were not, was done, work done with it. In other words, this should be fresh. Work was done with it, that just like this person was killed, that they didn't let him to do complete his life. No more And he should he has not drawn with a yoke, therefore it's unaccomplished. And these leaders of the city should bring down this egla, the female calf, el nachaliton to valley of the tongue. The tongue is part. The valley that nothing grows. Now, again, why? Because this person would have more fruit in his life. And what happened? With killing him, they destroy his fruit. They don't let him be fruitful. Actually, you have a fruit that you cannot be worked in it, fruit that should not be stoned. And they shall break the neck from the back of this egla, female, in the valley. You don't do shekita. Shekita is a normal way of doing the slaughtering, but we do from the past to show that he was killed not in a normal and right way. When he him and he and the Khanim of Nelevi should come close, Hashem chosen them, the short to save him, full body of Hashem Hashem and the PM here Kori, and according to them should be all of the grievance and Kol Negev. The whole Zirna Ayyai, and all of the others, they put Khanim come and Zirna Ayyai, Hakeim Ula Halal, he has to be there. Now what should I do? They should wash their hands on Egla Arufa Banaka, on this female calf, calf Arufa Banaka in the valley. They should wash their hands. Therefore, the elders of the city, they wash their hands. The only one who, and they're going to say, that's very important. What they're going to say, therefore, these elders, 
they bring that as a korban, the calf, and then they go you know, wash their hands and they say, Yodenu lo adam Our hands didn't spill the blood, the blood, this blood. And our eyes didn't see. Kaper Lamech Israel, run atonement for your nation Israel, Asher Parita of Hashem, that you redeem, you have to redeem the Hashem, but it's in Dam Nagi, and you should not give blood of innocent, Begel Lamech Israel, among Amech Israel, when a happy Lahem Adam, and then shall be atoned for them this blood. They will know these elders of the city are still there, they're not sure if you find this, if you find the, if I find the dead body outside of the city. Now, who do you go to the city? You go after the robbers and the murderers, or you go after the elders of the city? Who should wash his hand? Who should say that they're not sure The robbers of the city, the murderers of the city, or the Sidney Hyde? Now, Torah said the Sidney Hyde should do that. Now, why? Rashi says, Do you think that these people killed him, that they have to come and wash their hands and to say that your devil is not because I say, our hands didn't shed this blood? No, we have to get the murderers, we have to get the robbers, these people. But what was in him? Now, Torah says, They would see them to should say that Lula Inu, and we didn't see him. Not to leave in the town to, to not to give him food or not to accompany him. It's the Renim she should get up and they should say that why? Because if they saw him that is leaving town and they didn't provide food for him or they didn't accompany him, then they are responsible for his death. See, we are not talking about somebody who died through hunger. This is halal. Halal means that he was somebody killed and assassinated. If somebody killed him, no, why? The Zikhne Ha'ir, you have to say that we didn't see him not to give him food or to accompany him. What does that have to do with the killing? And they have to wash their hands to say, you are not from me. In other words, from Torah, you see that if the Zikhne saw him leaving town, they didn't give him food or did accompany him to, to be loving him, to be with him, then they're going to be responsible for this plan. Why should they be responsible? They didn't do something nice. Of course, they should have come to him. They should have, you know, Mechazakim, they should have given food. But Derecheres, they weren't, they violated Derecheres. But you call them murderer? You call them Shofech Dami? Now here, Torah brings out a very important psychology in life. And Torah teaches us a very important sort in life that, you know, person, after 120 years, they tell him that you kill this person. Oh, I never, I didn't, I didn't ever use knife. I didn't know how to you, you cut fruit. I killed him. No, yes, you killed him. How did you kill him? Like this. First, like this. See, this person came to the city. What happened to him? Anybody paid attention to him? Anybody went to him? They would say, how are you doing? What's happening with you? In other words, when nobody paid attention to him, nobody, Nobody gave, you know, Shalom Aleichem to him to make sure that where is he holding, what is he holding. Then a person becomes, doesn't feel good about himself. Person becomes very weak. And, you know, and he doesn't have any energy or power, you know. And he has to travel. Once he travels, he's very weak and not not understand his own worth because nobody paid attention to him. They dealt with him like garbage. Nobody talked to him and anything. He feels very down. Therefore, anybody that attacks him, he could kill him. He could kill him. He's, a, he's, a, he's an open field for everybody to come and do to him. Therefore, what I say, the real cause of his death is those people that didn't give him the strength and they didn't accompany him. Therefore, the fact that you don't give him what he needs to build him up is the cause of his death. The cause of his death is the elders of the city that they didn't pay attention to him. You give him, in other words, you send the soldier out, you have to equip, equip him with the, with, the, with the weapons, with whatever that it is. You send the soldier out without weapon, then 
what are you prospecting? You're going to know that what's going to happen. They're going to kill him. They're going to destroy him. Right? Traveling is a dangerous thing. There are robbers on the way, especially those days. It was very dangerous. Now, you're going to send him to travel and you don't equip him. Therefore, now, Torah is very interesting. Torah tells us a very, very profound way. Torah is telling you something that you relate, that he goes out of the city, the robbers and everybody, you better make sure that he has food, give him strength, make him feel good, he should be able to fight, should be able to save himself. Now, I, just like a person who relate to this course outside of the city, now we have a lot of dead bodies in the city itself. Any time that a child goes out of the home, is traveling with robbers, is confronting a lot of elements that we try to crush him down, to kill him, to destroy him, to destroy his personality, to destroy his, his essence. Now, if the parents don't equip child properly, they don't give him the self-esteem, they don't give him what he needs, as a soldier to go out, then any teacher, whatever that says to him, any friends that says to him, he's down. He's, he's, he's for, forget it. He's down. Why? Because he wasn't equipped enough at home with the, with the tools that he needs to live. Tools that things. In other words, when the child was neglected at home, was not given the self-esteem, the power, they protect himself to understand, to relate. Somebody says there's something to him, a teacher says, or something happens. And then she, the, the child feels nobody, nothing, and he goes in his own cocoon more and more and more and more. Then you see that, you know, this child is not a child who can do anything. Therefore, Torah, as a metaphor, is using, a, visualizing something that you could relate but we have to apply it in our daily basis of life. You have a friend, you see very down, you give him this look, you give him it look, you give him something. But once a great rabbi, so somebody sat in the community, calls him in and talks to him, and he gives him this look and it look. And three, four weeks later, he calls the rabbi and tells him the true story. So it's not what saying that that day that you spoke to me, I was deciding to commit suicide and you saved my life. That half an hour that I spent with you and you gave me Chizuk and Hidu, you gave me my life to me. Now, oh, therefore, you have to understand in relationship with others, you could take away your life or give life. It depends how you treat them. If you then put them down, if you crush them down, and you never know what happens to him. He would crash today, his blood pressure comes so up and he goes home, he claps. Now they don't know what's the reason. You know what's the reason? The reason is because you made him so angry. You made him so, or you, you make him feel nothing and garbage and he feels garbage in life. And you know, he, that deteriorated him and makes him to be destroyed. Or you could see somebody give him trusty, give him people, give him shock or give him life. After 120 years, they come and say that all of these children belongs to you. You made them. Why? Because you didn't make, he wanted to commit suicide, or he wanted, he was on the verge of falling. You lift him up. Even the kids who can do one, one word could do, a lot of other things cannot do. Therefore, good word, good encouragement, good kids who very important. Therefore, the parasha ends up with this, that this Nakuda here, that, you know, there's a corpse outside of the city, because you could relate. But really, there are a lot of corpses in the city itself. There are corpses around, around, um, uh, among ourselves in the city itself that we should be careful. And you should eradicate the blood of innocent from your midst when you do the right thing in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When you do that, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will help you. But the Baruch you know, if you read the, the last letters of the Batah, the way it becomes Rima. In other words, Hassal say, what happens to the murderer? 
murder the Rimar. Rimar means the Tula, the worm would go and destroy this murderer. And the Hoshwar who makes the judgment, Hashem is the judges of the world and he would do Shabbat Shalom.